saline versus silicone versus texture versus shade versus all the yada 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 ideal implant all that good stuff check out my youtube page you can check out all those videos okay when it comes to actual sizing that's what this video is going to be all about hey everybody it's dr beard i'm a board certified plastic surgeon right here in beverly hills and i get asked questions about breast implants all the time. I do about six to nine breast operations every week currently. Okay, so I do I do a lot of uh, breast surgeries and the most number one common question I get is what size is right for me? And I will tell you, one size does not fit all. I have a lot of people that come in and be like, my friend Susie, she's got 325 and I love the way hers look. Well, Susie is four foot 11 and you're a six foot one pro volleyball player. Her 325 is not gonna look the same on you as it does on hers. My number one advice to people is don't get hung up on CC size. How do you pick the perfect implant size? I think it all starts with finding a good doctor that does breast augmentation surgery. If you find a good doctor, a good plastic surgeon that's board certified that knows how to do this, then you're halfway there. There's a lot of ways to do this, and I'll, I'll tell you the three main ways that doctors help you pick an implant size. It all starts with measurements. If you go, so every patient that comes in my office, we do a series of about 12 measurements, okay? On both breasts, we're measuring from sternal notch to nipple, we're measuring from clavicle to nipple, we're measuring base width, that's an important one, pay attention to that. We're doing nipple to full distance. Sometimes if we have areola uh, differences, we measure areola size versus one versus the other. And then we kind of take all those numbers and we go through sizing charts uh, based on the implant company. I like to use Mentor. If you look at an implant, every implant has a round side and has a flat side. I can show you more on this one. So this flat side has a dimension, it's called a diameter. And every one of these diameters is actually listed on this sizing chart. So for example, this one here is about 12 centimeters. Once we have the base diameter of your chest, right? So like if we measure on me, I'm 17 centimeters. Well, if we look at this handy dandy sizing chart and we find out based on the profile of what you want, the centimeters that you are. So, so let's say I'm 17. Well, I'm, I'm kind of off the charts, but let's say your, your base diameter is 12. Um, that would put you a middle of the road implant of 300 cc's. Now you want, you have a little bit of flexibility, right? You can go a centimeter up and a centimeter down. So if your base width is 12, you can go as low as 225, which is 10.9 or you can go all the way up to 13, which is 400 cc's. So you basically, you effectively have a, a, a range of 200 cc's. What size you end up going with depends on what your goals are. I'm just have people give me pictures of what they want in terms of size goals. Find a photo out there, whether it's on my website or it's on uh, Real Self or some porn website, whatever it is. If you find a photo that you like in terms of naked breast photo from the front, that's what we'll use to match your size in the operating room. And so I, I switched to what's called intraoperative sizing. So I would say, all right, your measurements say 325, let's try that out. So I would take a sizer, I put it in the, in the patient's chest, I would sit you up and I would compare that to uh, your goal photo. And uh, sometimes it'd be small, and then it would go up to 350 or I go 375 and until I could get the perfect size based off of the, the photo for you. I did that because I, I didn't like surprises and I wanted to have that flexibility in the operating room of intraoperative sizing. So it's just like if you're gonna buy a really nice pair of shoes, you wanna try them on first before you buy them. And I'm a firm believer in that and that's how I do all of my breast augmentation operations. I wanna see exactly how it looks before I pick that perfect size for you. There's no more accurate way to do it than to use the intraoperative sizing. The downside is that it takes a little more time, right? But I'm not here to cut corners on surgeries, right? So I made a decision very early on, early on in my practice that I'm not here to cut corners on my surgeries. I'm trying to give you the results that you're looking for. And if it takes me an extra 15 minutes to do the intraoperative sizing, we're gonna take the time to do that. A couple things to consider. There are different profiles of implants. There's what's called a high profile and there's called a moderate profile, all right? These have very different looks. Both of these are 325 cc's, but look how different. Look how different they look. Okay, high profile versus moderate profile. High profile is a very narrow implant, okay? It gives you a much more projected look, which a lot of people think is better, but actually looks a little fake, and it loses cleavage here because it's so narrow. Not only that, but they tend to bottom out and they tend to fall off on the side more. So 99% of the time I use a moderate profile because if you understand physics, the force per unit area on this bottom part of the implant is much more spread out through this, through this bottom portion, okay? So this is much less likely to bottom out or fall off to the side later. Plus, bonus, you get extra cleavage here in the middle and beautiful side boob. Not, not only that, but if we go submuscular, partially, like I do with the dual plane technique, you get a nice smooth teardrop shape. Okay guys, that's it for our breast implant sizing uh, video. If you have any questions about this and wanna know more information, check out my website, breastbybarrett.com. 
feel free to leave your comments, questions, feedback right here on my YouTube page. And don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more cool videos just like this one. And a thumbs up is always nice. Thank you guys, have a wonderful day.